We sit here calling for more EU action and it's the EU itself that is failing our youth of today. It's making it harder and harder for them to find jobs. Your flagship youth guarantee scheme is doomed to fail. The International Labour Organization said it needed €21 billion Euros to actually make it effective, but only €6 billion is budgeted for the current period, although I've just heard you've raised a little bit more, but not enough, so it's another EU triumph. But the elephant in the room is immigration. We have a complete open door to 500 million people in the EU to compete for jobs, claim benefits and settle in the UK. How can we say to our young people that that is going to help them finding work? We're forcing them to compete against a large uh, workforce coming over from the EU, undercutting the wages, and the Labour Party and the Tory Party, of course, support this open door immigration policy. Thank you. Um, we have a blue card, Mrs. Collins. If you're happy to accept it, please, from Mr. Bashir. Okay. Mr. Bashir, 30 seconds, please. Uh, Mrs. Collins, my colleague, I'd like to ask whether it is true that bureaucracy and high taxations within the EU is, is the source of preventing further job growth within the UK. And also I'd like to ask whether a vocational skill provision is preventing job growth within Yorkshire. Certain wards of ours are experiencing 60 to 70 percent youth employment within Yorkshire. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bashir. I, I would say that definitely that bureaucracy and red tape and high taxation is, is the main reason that small to medium businesses are struggling and failing. And if they're failing, they can't employ uh, younger workers. And I would agree that we need to put something in place uh, where we can actually activate more apprentice schemes in our own region where we seem to be falling behind with our younger un unemployed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, colleagues.